Investigations into Queensland's worst mass murder, the 1973 firebombing of the Whiskey A Go Go, are to be reopened. Live now to Shane Doherty, why has the Attorney General decided to order a fresh inquest? It's the McCulkin case, Melissa, jailing her killers yesterday. The judge said what Barbara McCulkin knew about the Whiskey A Go Go probably cost her life and her daughters. So the coroner's been ordered back in, 44 years after the crime, back to a world of crooked cops and Brisbane's dangerous underbelly. It's as if something in our dark past has just risen from the dead. And I could hear people screaming and, you know, glass was breaking. At 10 past two in the morning, March 8, 1973, drums of fuel were set alight and rolled into the Whiskey A Go Go nightclub until Port Arthur, Australia's worst mass murder. 15 people, it's just, I can't get my head around it. It's Matthew Condon's work that has reopened these cold cases and the skeletons in Brisbane's cupboards are all connected. The hitmen jailed for killing the McCulkin family linked to the Whiskey A Go Go. Now the hunt's on to find the truth. The Whiskey A Go Go tragedy is etched in the memory of many Queenslanders. We should take this opportunity to find any answers that we can. The two men jailed for the Whiskey A Go Go crimes professed their innocence. Only James Finch later admitted his guilt. So for 15 years when you maintained your innocence, you were lying? Uh, yes. This may have been an attempt to stay in the reputation of the police commissioner of the day, Ray Whitrod. Corrupt elements of the force had attempted to get rid of him from day one. What better way to um, damage the reputation of a sitting commissioner than to have a mass murder occur on your watch? The Whiskey Building still stands not far from the Valley's infamous Sin Triangle. Maybe now, all these years later, its ghosts can be laid to rest. It's vital. Uh, that this is thoroughly investigated to honour the dead. Shane Doherty, Nine News.